Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to change the colors on your iBuyPower desktop. So, what you're going to first need to do is download the RGB Fusion 2.0. So you simply just go to the Googler, type in up here RGB Fusion 2.0 download. It'll take you to this website, which is going to be the uh, Gigabyte website. Click on that. RGB Fusion 2.0. Um, you can watch a little video on it. It gives you a little whatever. Um, and then you just click right here. And download. And done deal. So I already have this thing downloaded. So we'll just kind of go through it and check it out. All right. So what you're going to want to do is now just check this out. There you go. And now you're going to have this whole little system. You're going to click on this little guy. And then, you know, sync mode. And then you can change the things that you have colors to. Now there's all kinds of different options. For what you can have attached like you know sometimes your RAM is going to be like right here um, but for me I just have a couple of fans set up so on this thing you can do all kinds of different customize your colors to whatever you want and then you're going to press apply to whatever color so let's say I really want like this orangey color or you can just go to straight orange the brightness of it and then um, as speed applies, this will be highlighted as well. Um, so, you know, you can do the color cycle. There's like, you can have it just straight off, pulse. Um, you can do any of that kind of stuff. So we'll just put, you know, boom, there you go, it's applied. So, and then on my front end, um, you know, let's just say, you know, color cycle. And then I want the speed to be super slow. So it has more of a, like a type of thing. Um, but there's all kinds of different options that you can use. A pulse, flash, double flash, color cycle, digital wave. Um, or just have it static, which means constant color. Um, and we'll apply that. So you can see now that this is going to be color changing or it's rainbow um, which is a pretty cool little system for when you have an RGB um, hope you guys like this little video on how to change the colors on my iPod power desktop thank you guys and hope you have a great day thank you